I got this plastic toy watering can from Dollar Tree and we're going to be giving this a nice makeover. So I'm using Folk Art Chalk Paints in the color white and Maui Sand and I actually just mixed those together to create a lighter gray color. So I just applied this all throughout the watering can. This did take about two coats. You wanna just make sure that you dry the first coat before going on to the second coat. And once everything is completely covered, you want to just allow this all to completely dry. Next up, now I'm just using Folk Art Chalk Paints in white, and I got these makeup sponges also from Dollar Tree. So I'm just loading some of that white chalk paint onto the makeup sponge, but then I also offload some onto my puppy pad. And then I just begin dabbing that white chalk paint all throughout the watering can. Blending is key while doing this method. If you feel like you could see too much of the sponge marking, just go over it some more with some more white chalk paint. And then if you feel like it's coming out a little too light, you could always go back in with more of that gray chalk paint. So now to make this look a little bit more weathered and rustic, now I'm just going in with some Waverly Antique Wax. Again, I just put a very small amount on my paintbrush. I just dab the Antique Wax rather than brushing it on. And then I go back over it with my finger and just dab a little bit more. And that kind of just helps blend that Antique Wax in with the chalk paints. So you could do this in just some random spots. You could do it all over the watering can, but I just put it in spots where I feel that a real watering can will start to rust. So now for the handle, I wanted to add a little bit more of an accent piece. So I'm using some jute string and I'm just wrapping it all around the handle. I did put some dabs of glue every now and then, and then once it's completely covered, just put another dab of glue and look at how much better that looks. And then go ahead and just add some floral or whatever kind of accent pieces you would like. I got mine from Dollar Tree. And I think this came out so adorable and I had so much fun creating it. I hope this inspires you to create your own. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you guys so, so much. And I hope you all have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.